this gift. I'm seeing into the future. so much for taking the time to speak with me we're all really excited about season two of the show coming out soon um right we're all really excited about it so first i wanted to ask you what was your experience like coming into the second season after the first season of the show got so many fans have fans reach out to you about specific storylines they really love is there a specific storyline from season one that you particularly liked I mean, me being a, I, I haven't even been in the first season. I was just a huge fan of the show. So, I mean, when I got the audition, I was just so geeked out to even have a chance to be a part of it. It was definitely interesting seeing how my character plays a, a big part in uncovering some things about Harper's family and history. Yeah, for sure. I have loved playing in all the different eras, and I've seen that people who enjoyed the show have also had a lot of fun with that. So it's nice to see me experiencing the same, you know, joy and just eagerness to see what happens next <laughs> along with everyone else. And I think reading um, everyone's theories has been so much fun. I mean, I see how close some people get and then just how in detail they can be. I mean, people have like 80 different plot lines going on at the same time. And I'm like, holy cow, you put this together really well. <laughs> Yeah. The fans get super, super invested, which is always really fun to see. And uh, so that's why we're all really excited to see what theories are true when it comes to season two, what's going to happen. I know you guys can't give away too much, but is there anything that you could tease about the upcoming season? Uh, okay. <laughs> For the upcoming season, we learn a lot more about the Tremont. We learn a lot about Harper's roots, her family, filling in a lot of gaps and questions that we had last season are answered. Um, as well as unraveling an even bigger mystery of the tree month. Ooh, very cool. Uh, I mean, I would say there's going to be a lot of more um, paranormal activities. We we'll definitely be uncovering a lot of secrets and getting our questions answered from previous from the previous season. And I mean, if you're a fan of the show like me, then you'll definitely just have a blast just watching it and all the amazing acting in it. Awesome. Yeah, that's one of the best parts about the show is that there are so many different elements to it, whether it be the acting or the writing or even just the storylines themselves. There's so much going on. Um, and this season, since so much is having to do with time travel, I wanted to ask you guys, if you could go in time to any era, whether it be past, present, future, where would you go and why? I think if I had to go to a specific era, I would definitely go to the Victorian era because I could grab some fabric. <laughs> I'll make I'll make a nice bag or something. For me, I would definitely go to the Victorian era or the Edwardian era, mostly because I'm really interested in the fashion of early um, early time. Um, and I think maybe the '40s again for the fashion for the fashion. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, specifically love, there, specifically the fashion. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of new technology and a lot of um, invention back in those eras, and I think watching it unfold would be a lot of fun. Very cool. Those are great answers. I love those picks. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so another thing I wanted to ask you guys was, how has your experience on this show been different than any of your other acting experiences before? Especially with this show, it seems like there's so much going on and so many different elements to it. How is it different from any project you've been a part of in the past? I mean, this show, I mean, it's my first kids project. Most shows I've done have usually been with adults and like it's a little here and there with kittens, but this is my first major um, show for kids, my first Disney opportunity. I mean, it, it's it's such a blessing to be on the show. Oh yeah, I, I'm <laughs> same for me. It's the first kids oriented project that I've done before. Um, I'm I'm excited solely because it's such a huge age range and it can really relate to all audiences. Um, and I think I think I can learn a lot from. I learned a lot from it. Um, working with kids my age, um, having to adapt to more kids oriented audience though it has a big range and i think keeping spoilers out of my mouth has been very difficult that's cool well any any spoilers you want to give to us we're totally fine with but we're also really excited to see what happens when the show premieres um 
soon. It's coming out really, really soon. So yeah, no, no spoilers. spoilers. Yeah, I no. I could spell it out. No, no <laughs> spoilers. I don't think I spelled spoilers correctly. <laughs> Awesome. Well, we'll just have to tune in. We're all really excited about it. And thank you guys for taking the time to, to talk with me. We can't wait for season two. Thank you. One chapter ends, another one begins. Unless you're at the end of the book. <laughs>